Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own choose your story type thing. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make like a whole game, but I'm just going to show you how to make the choices that affect like the characters later on. So first we're going to make our character. I'm going to call him Scratch Cat because that's what he's going to be. He's going to be the Scratch Cat. So right now we're going to go to costumes. We're going to choose a costume. Uh, I'm going to go to animals and I'm going to pick cat. Cat. Uh, cat. I'm going to pick cat. Okay, there we go. We have our cat, and we're gonna put him right here. Then we're gonna get a character right here. We're gonna make a new character. And we're gonna call it Scratch Friend. But first, we're gonna have to get an actual animal for that. So hold on. Okay, I picked Gobo because he has to be one of his friends, of course. So we're actually gonna make his rotation style left, right. And we're gonna make him face scratch cap. So we're gonna do this when green flag is clicked. Do this. Perfect. And now we're gonna put him right over here. And then we're gonna make scratch cat say something. Uh, so we're gonna put we're gonna put uh, say. Or actually, no, no, no. This is what we're gonna do. So this is gonna be a super simple um, thing. So we're gonna when green flag is clicked. Uh, and I'm gonna do something that like will show if he likes us or not. So we're gonna put we're gonna delete the my variable block and we're gonna put gobo opinion. And if you if you're gonna have this be like someone's death or something, like if someone's gonna be alive, then you're gonna actually make it uh um like I'd make it gobo fate and I put one or two. So we're gonna set it to one, which means he's neutral. Um and then we're gonna go back to scratch cat. Actually we're gonna put that in gobo. We're gonna put this in gobo. And then we're going to delete it from scratch cat. We're going to put when green flag clicked, ask, ask, what do I say? And then, um, you're going to, we're going to paint a new sprite and we're going to put options. This is super simple, by the way. So if you want to make this like buttons, you would have to do a whole other system, but this one's just going to be a super simple one. So you can get like, um, through the game or so you can make like how you want it to be so we're gonna put we're gonna make a text i'm gonna put it um uh, take make the text white we're gonna put um option one call him a mean name option two uh actually put option a and b a and then B, call him a nice name. So call a nice name. And we're gonna put for A for option A put A and for B put B. Just like that, and now we have like a a nice little system and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put green flag clicked looks show and then we're gonna go and scratch that and since they asked this we're gonna put an if else we're gonna put if uh, answer equals a then put gobo opinion if gobo no not gobo opinion if answer equals a then set gobo opinion to two actually three which would be not liking us and then else put it to two which would be liking us and basically this is how we make it where our options change the game um if you guys want you can put in the t uh, in like oops i i put this for the wrong thing i might put this back to where he goes put this at zero zero so if you guys want i can make it like I can show you how to make like a whole full-fledged game based off of this, um, and I'm actually working on one right now. So yeah, um, there we go. So now this is what what this is gonna do is we're gonna go to Gobo. I'm gonna put actually we're gonna go here, and at the bottom we're gonna put broadcast Gobo reaction. Gobo Gobo reaction, just like that. And we're gonna go to Gobo, and we're gonna put when I receive Gobo reaction, 
Then you're gonna if else, but I'm just gonna drag this from here. If else, and you put if gobo reaction or gobo uh, opinion equals one or equals two. I mean, then say thank you, thank you, and else put. You're gonna do this if you have if you want to have multiple choices. You're gonna do this three, then put. I don't like you. And then just like that. And then uh, on the bottom ones, you would put else. Um, you'd put else. Uh, you'd put your other answers. So if you had four, like A, B, C, D, then you would do that and you'd keep it going. Now we're going to go back to Scratch Cat. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to get another if else. Actually, no. We're going to do, we're going to keep it like this. And now we should have a functioning system. So what do I say? Oops, I forgot I put this hide. I meant to put show on this and then get when I receive gobo reaction, hide. There we go. So what do I call them? What do I say? A mean name, a nice name. I'm going to put B. Put B. And there we go. He says, thank you, which is not the right reaction. Actually, no, yes, it is. It is the right reaction because B is call him a nice name. Now we're going to put A. We put A, which is a mean name, and he says, I don't like you. And there we go. We have a fully functioning system where uh, I can make a choice, and it affects the story. So, yeah. If you want to make this, like, a choice later down the line, you can say, like, uh, I can make a new thing, like, Gobo doesn't like you, so he leaves you behind and you guys die. Um, but that would probably be for another video, because this video was basically just straight for the uh, question. And, yeah. So, this is the choices. So, later, guys. You can use the variable to actually before i say later you can use the variable uh gobo like opinion and you can change it to like uh like four which would be like he he doesn't really care about you but he also like would keep you around or something like that you can set it to however you want note this would take a lot like a lot of work to put into it like an actual game um if you want an example uh i don't have one yet but i'm working on a game like this so i will have one soon okay later guys